10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Hello and welcome to all viewers. I am absolutely delighted to be introducing TechFest 2021. My name is Kate Broadrib and I'm a Senior Leader for Learning at Wilden School and I've been involved in our annual Digital Awards Ceremony from its very first inception way back in 2007. All that time ago, it was actually called the Wilden TV Oscars and it celebrated students' work in film, graphics and digital art. Well, 14 years later, it's evolved now to showcase the amazing range of digital skills and creativity our students at Wilden and in our local primary schools hold as TechFest. So from categories like film still and digital photography, animation, online revision and coding and more, you're going to watch a wealth of brilliant talent tonight. Teachers have nominated work from St James, Freegrounds, Shamblehurst, Borley Park and Wilden schools this year. And also students at Wilden can nominate their own work and that of a peer. So we have a whopping 15 awards categories, the most ever. So sit back as over the next 30 or so minutes, you're going to see some of the shortlisted entries for each category and hear the judges' decisions. Due to our largest ever number though of nominations, it's been impossible to show every single entry. This film otherwise would have been about six hours long. So do accept my apologies if your work is not displayed on screen tonight. Please do consider that TechFest is our way of not only recognising the amazing and creative young people in our community, it's about wanting to also say thank you and acknowledge a lot of this digital work took place during lockdown, where students demonstrated amazing resilience and innovation towards their learning. As Steve Jobs, one of the most influential techies once said, you are here to put a dent in the universe and the wide range of exceptional work we've seen nominated for TechFest tonight shows that without doubt, our youngsters will achieve that vision. So without further ado, please grab some popcorn, sit back and enjoy the awards film. Thank you and well done to every single student involved. Digital artwork, a variety of different forms of art using software such as Photoshop, Illustrator and Procreate. Eve Capel Lauren Port Emily Heath Amala Tipper Jasmine Clee Sophie Joyce and Scarlett Johnson. Good evening, um, Mrs Lynch speaking here from Wilden Art Department and I'm very pleased to once again be asked to judge the stunning entries for TechFest. We had a number of entries from students across all year groups this year and the entries were, as always, phenomenal. The skill that our students have with using tech to create artwork is absolutely stunning and I know myself from personal experience how long it takes and actually the way that you have to retrain your art skills to use the tech involved. Some very difficult decisions that we've had to make because the standard was so high this year, but I'm very pleased to announce that Scarlett is our absolute winner this year. Well done, Scarlett. Your portrait is just breathtaking and I look forward to seeing the artwork that you create in the future. Congratulations.
best geography film. Students have made films about world issues and short documentaries about the world we live in. Joshua Humphreys for Beast from the East. Owen Harper with Wildfires. Harry Atkinson with The Journey of a River. Tamsin Nichols with Wild Weather. Nathan Richards, The River from Source to Mouth. And Josh Newman, The River Itchin. I judged the geography category this year and it was a really hard decision to pick a winner. The standard of entries was so high and the creativity and the technology used in this fascinating subject made for some fantastic films. It was really difficult to pick a winner but the winner is Harry Atkinson. Bawley Park Primary School. Year R were set the challenge of building an obstacle course for their B-Bots. They had to program it to stay safely on the tracks that they built. Hello everybody, I've got the great pleasure of presenting the Early Years Tech Award. This involved both the reception classes at Borley Park, who were set a challenge of building an obstacle course out of resources like building blocks for their yellow B-Bots. The pupils had to work together in order to program the B-Bots to safely negotiate the tracks that they built. Through this activity, they were obviously developing their directional language, logical reasoning to come up with a series of commands to keep that B-Bot on course. As you can see from the pictures, a great deal of fun was had by all. Huge congratulations to all the students at Morley Park Reception. Well done on your award. Best informative movie. Students were tasked with a challenge to make a short informative video about something that interests them. Lucy Burnett with Animal Crossing. Sadie Gallagher with E. coli. Florence Latter, Ava Macklin and Faith Bonus with Female Inequality. Sophie Power, Hannah Stammers and Isabel Wardle with Climate Change Time for Action. James Collins with Wilden Tour. Tao Smith with Microphone Review. Nicole Johnson, Bethany Field, Caitlin Humphreys, Elizabeth Mould Ryan with Save the Environment. Hi everybody, um, I'm here to uh, judge the Tech Fest category of most informative video. Um, I've had to watch these a number of times um, to, to really uh, make my decision. It's been really tough. I'd like to thank everybody that's contributed. Um, you've all put a lot of work and effort in and, and you've been so creative, which has made it difficult. Um, Lucy loved Animal Crossing, thought you did a great job. Um, well done to all your actors too. Um, musicality and edit was superb. Beautiful scenes and, and some great choice of shots. Very, very impressed. Sadie, um, E. coli, scared the life out of me. You really set the tone with the, the theme tune and the, the, the backing track um, and your content was really hard hitting, which really made me think about it. Um, Florence, Ava, Faith, uh, your female equality video was, was was very well done. I like the use of the whiteboard. It kept it simple, which really drew my attention to the message. So really like that. Um, Sophie, Hannah, Isabel, climate change, frightening. Really, I really liked the, the graphics, um, really powerful images that got me thinking and then add that to your content and really did make me um, think about what's going on around the world at the moment. So well done, James. Um, the Wilden Tour made me really appreciate what wonderful buildings and facilities we have here. Uh, I really liked it. It kept it simple, but I thought it was very informative for anybody who might want to look, look at that to, to walk around school who hadn't visited yet. So that was clever. Well done. Tio, uh, your microphone review was, was brilliant. I really enjoyed it. Um, really 
covered the spec and uh, uh, and the requirement of, of the task in hand. Very informative. I'm just going to go off and buy my microphone now. But your edit was brilliant. Great use of software and hardware to, to really make it a very professional-like presentation. Um, and then we come on to um, uh, Nicole, Bethany, Caitlin um, and Elizabeth for your Save the Environment video. And I really like this one. Um, I loved the still motion um, animation. I thought that worked really well and combined well with the modern graphics you put in later. The package together was had a great message. You you chose your content really wisely and it made me think about how I should be using my, my transport and my bike a little bit more. And I think that's what we were asking for from this informative video is to inform people and, and, and get them to make choices. So I'm gonna stop waffling and I'm gonna announce my winner and my winners are uh, of the most informative video are Nicole, um, Bethany, Caitlin and Elizabeth. Well done, really impressed, um, congratulations. Green screen at Shamberhurst Primary School. Year three children reading a battle speech in front of a Roman background, which they made on a green screen app. Eleanor. Grace. And Joshua. So uh, it's been great to judge these best use of green screen um, technology. And I absolutely enjoyed all of the performances. They were amazing, but there's definitely one winner. And that's because of his great passion in his speech. And that is Joshua Hewson. Well done, Joshua. It's brilliant. TV advert. Students were challenged to make an engaging TV advert for a brand and had to display different video techniques. Daisy Millwood for a Nike X Apple Watch advert. Connie Langdown for her Body Max advert. Emily War for her Cheerios advert. I was really lucky to judge the category for TV advert and there were some fantastic entries, um, some really fabulous ones, particularly loved seeing when you're getting other members of your family involved to film for you. But the winner is the Nike X watch advert by Daisy Millwood, particularly for the variety of different styles and techniques used in creating the advert, but also the marketing campaign and the thought behind that. So fabulous, well done to everybody involved, but particularly Daisy. Photography. Students used a variety of different photography techniques and used software to edit the photos. Megan Long with Lights on the Move. Lola Toms with Pink Flower. Abigail Tregear with Dark Skyline. And Grace Patient with Mind Blowing. Hello everyone. It's an honor to be asked back to judge a category for TechFest this year. Photography is something that I have a huge interest in and the standard this year was really high. It was a tough decision, but the winner was chosen for the beautiful contrast between light and shade and the atmosphere that it created. So the winner of the photography category for this year is Abigail Tregear with Dark Skyline. Well done, Abigail. Best video. Students have been making videos and displaying some amazing videography and editing skills. Eva Angel Collins with Castle on the Hill. Lucy Burnett with Animal Crossing. 
and Teo Smith for his microphone review. Hi TechFest, uh, I've got the pleasure of judging the best video category. Um, I really enjoyed watching all the videos, particularly being a media teacher. Uh, there's some fantastic pieces of work. Teo, I learned some amazing things about jam boards and Lucy, I had no idea about Animal Crossing and now I actually understand it. So that was a brilliant piece of work. My overall winner needs to go to Eva. Fantastic music video um, put into sequence with Castle on the Hill. Brilliant piece of work, great narrative, lovely camera shots, really enjoyed it. Thanks very much. Animation at Free Grounds Primary School. Students have been using stop motion animation to show the process of mummification. Dacia and Edward. Theo and Ewan. Freya and Flo. George and Lily Rose. Jack and Luke. And Kyla and Josh. Hello, it's Miss Jones here, assistant head teacher at Wilden. I had the great pleasure of judging the free grounds process of mummification videos and they have been such a fun set of videos to watch not only because the animation has been fantastic and you should all be really really proud of yourselves but it reminded me of when I was at primary school and I learned about the Egyptians and mummifications and hieroglyphics and that was all really exciting and it brought that moment in time back to me so thank you for sharing those with me I was so so impressed with them um, some little highlights that I'd like to pick out are Lily's presenting skills. Lily, you were superb presenting on your video. Your voice uh, was so enthusiastic and passionate about what you were talking about, so great job there. I also really enjoyed um, Jack and Luke's video when the water came in around the sides of the body. I thought that was really clever and that was quite different to the way that everybody else had portrayed the water. Um, I enjoyed some of the narrative aspects, so there were some great stories going on. I particularly liked the one where, well, I wouldn't say I like it, but there was a moment where a, a son, a young boy, fell to his death on a slide, which is why he uh, then had to be mummified. But it was, it was a, an interesting start to the story, which definitely grabbed my attention um, and made me, made me think a bit differently about whether I partake in going on slides at the playground if it's going to end like that. But great job to you all, you should be really proud of yourselves, but we do have to have one winner. And I'm just double checking my list here. My winner is Theo and Ewan. I thought your video was brilliant. I don't know what I like best about it. I like the peg. I thought the peg was great because you'd really thought about it and you had gone into so much detail to the point where the peg actually picked up, um, I think it was the brain that you were taking out with the little bits of paper that you'd used as props. Um, it was really great. I just thought that your, your video was really detailed. You were all about paying attention to the details. Your animation was flowing. There were lots of tiny little movements. That everybody moved really slowly, which must have taken you hours to sort out, rather than big jumps across the space. Um, it just worked really well, and it was really, really clear. So congratulations to both of you. It was fantastic. Um, I must also commend all of you, or those of you that tried it, um, on saying the word sarcophagus, which is a tricky word. And I did very quickly just make sure I was saying it correctly before I started this video. So thank you, Free Grounds. I really enjoyed watching your videos and congratulations to Theo and Ewan who are my winners. Coding. Using a piece of software called Scratch, students have programmed their own interactive stories, games and animations. Sophie Gilbert for Make a Story Project. Daniel Jarvis for Make a Story Project. Madison McKillary for Penguin in the Desert. 
Uh, good evening. It's a real pleasure to once again to be asked to judge the coding section for TechFest. Um, a really challenging uh, year for me um, to be able to go through all the work, some fantastic work's been produced in school, some amazing projects were produced during the lockdown we had at the start of the year. But the winner has to go to Dan Jarvis for his Space Adventures 1.0, coded throughout and a really truly creative idea and project. Congratulations to everyone that was nominated and thanks for entering. Bye. EdTech at St. James's Primary School. At St. James's, they've been programming Bebops to go around an obstacle course, record an audio of speeches and letters that they've written, and created some stop motion animation. Good evening TechFest. So I have had the privilege of looking at all of the nominations that have come through from St James Primary School this year. What a fantastic job you have all been doing. We've seen some fantastic examples of you all using technology in some really creative, really powerful ways. Um, so thank you for sharing those and thank you for entering. We have broken down um, the category into two. So we've got a Key Stage 1 winner and a Key Stage 2 winner because there are so many great examples for us to choose from. In Key Stage 1, one year R. I loved looking at all of your pictures of you using the B-Bots um, and there have been some fantastic animations um, that have been sent in based on the book Hand as a Surprise by Eileen Brown. So well done all of you, there were some fantastic pieces of work there. Rosie and Elise, I really loved your Everyone Can Help recordings as well, they were brilliant. But the winner for our Key Stage 1 category goes to... Caden, Arthur and Mindy for your um, animation and your choice of music and the variety of models that you had in your stop go um, animations that you sent in. They were absolutely fantastic so well done and thank you for sending those in. Um, it was great to see your animations. For Key Stage 2, we had some fantastic persuasive letters from Year 3, Luca, Ariana and Libby. Thank you for sending in your recordings and well done for being nominated. They were all very, very powerful, well-structured um, persuasive speeches with some really creative ideas to help the environment, so well done. And Alyssa and Sophie White in Year 5, it was really great to see all of the research that had gone into your persuasive speeches as well. You've all recorded those and sent them via Edmodo to your teachers as well. So some fantastic entries. The winner has to go to Alyssa for your fabulous intonation in your speech and your presentation it was very emotive and very passionate so well done and a huge well done to all of you at St James for another fantastic um, year of doing some great work with technology well done everybody infographics students have used programs such as Photoshop procreate and canva to make informative digital graphics and posters. Gabriella Taffa Wallace with her Egypt Digital Guide. Poppy Lacey with her Malawi Digital Guide. Tara Nagchowdhury with Madagascar Digital Guide. Victoria Osborne with Water Aid Infographic. Adeline Bernard with Erosional Landforms. Hello everybody, I've been lucky enough to judge the infographics category this year for TechFest. First of all, I want to say a massive congratulations to everyone on their efforts, as the work has been absolutely incredible. There was such variety through all work and that has, what made, has made my decision even more difficult. I've loved the creativity that is thrown through everybody's work, especially Victoria Osborne's illustrations in her adaptation poster. I'm really impressed from all of the applications this far and it has been such a difficult decision, but my winner is Tara McChowdhury. Digital mind mapping. Students use Coggle to create digital mind maps, to take notes and to connect ideas.
Reuben James with his Year 10 Geography Revision. Rebecca Curley with Resource Management Revision. Emily Wilkins with her Desert Revision. Harry Atkinson with his Tropical Rainforest Revision. Phoebe Chafers with her Sahara Desert Revision. Olivia Bryant with her Rainforest Revision. And Katie Jones with her Desert Revision. Hi everybody. The category that I've been asked to judge today is digital mind mapping. And goodness me, I've learned so much. Um, I didn't know that anything was out there that could do such great, great things. So I've been able to learn about the whole of the geography curriculum at Key Stage 4, uh, the Sahara Desert, and also the rainforests. And it puts my mind mapping years ago with a pencil a pen or a couple of coloured pencils and pens to shame. However, Coggle is a great revision tool. I've seen it in action now and my um, chosen winner is Harry Atkinson, who did a great um, piece of work on the tropical rainforests. It had links to other websites. It had some beautiful little clip art, imagery and photographs um, on top of the words and the um, the information that was uh, sort of surrounding the whole piece of work. So well done, Harry. Um, it was really, really tough to choose because there were some amazing uh, pieces of work. But well done, Harry. I've chosen you. Take care. Have a good evening, everybody. And I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Interactive revision. Students have used online tools such as Quizlet and Google Documents to make flashcards to aid in their revision. <music> Melissa Nichols for her Interactive Revision Guide for Deserts. Rebecca Curley, River Revision Key Terminology. Tayo Smith for Media GCSE. Victoria Osborne for Living World Revision Flashcards. And finally, Sam Hendry and James Duncan for Living World Revision Flashcards. I have the pleasure of judging the Tech Best Award for Interactive Revision Resource. This was hugely difficult to judge as they were all so brilliant. I could write an essay on each and every one of them about how fabulous and recommendations for people to use. So just a massive well done to all of you. However, I've chosen this particular resource because of its diversity. There was absolutely everything. Interactive quizzes, past papers, definitions. It was faultless and brilliant. And the great bit, bit was it not just useful for the user themselves, but for other students too. I'm sure the geography department will take that and share it with everybody. So the TechFest Award for Interactive Revision goes to Teo Smith. Well done. Incredible EdTech Creativity. This category shows incredible innovative ideas that have aided in students' own education. Nathan Richards, The River from Source to Mouth. Emily Newman, Animation of the Mississippi Tornadoes. Nicole Fong, T-H-E. Tabitha Lacey, A New Beginning. James Clark, Big Thunder Mountain Locomotive and Station. Class 7X, Best of Me. Jack B, Mary Seacole. And Reuben James, River Tees. So this year I have the pleasure of judging the incredible uh, EdTech Creativity Curiosity Award. Well done to everyone who took part. Some fantastic pieces of work and the thing that struck me the most this year was the variety of software used. Um, we had some pieces from Tinkercad, Procreate, Unreal Engine, Maze, some really advanced pieces of software that you students have been using so you should all be 
really, really proud of yourselves. Um, but there can only be one winner. And this winner produced a piece uh, for Geography, I believe, a 3D game showing the river running from the source to the mouth. Um, it was just incredible, absolutely stunning. So well done to Nathan Richards. Outstanding commitment to education technology at Wilding, in memory to Jeff Frelfall. So good evening everyone, and can I say what an absolute privilege it is to be here once again to present these wonderful awards and what fantastic young people we have in this school. Tonight I'm awarding the award for Outstanding Commitment to Educational Technology at Wilden. And this award is in memory of Jeff Threlfall, who was a head teacher here some years ago. The person who is receiving this award is just absolutely unbelievable. I know that he has received an award in every year that he has been in this school. His contribution to the school, to helping staff, and indeed to overall school improvement is absolutely amazing. In this past year during COVID times, the amount of work he has done to support staff and colleague pupils is beyond belief. He is such a clever and talented young man. His support in terms of filming and studies and to tutor programme is just something that we would have never anticipated. And that person is Teo Smith. His contribution to this school is absolutely incredible and I thank him hugely and I congratulate him hugely on this wonderful achievement. Well done, Teo. Okay, so this uh, is a special mention that goes out to uh, Teo Smith. Um, you may or may not be aware that he is one of our go-to students who has helped out in a phenomenal amount of uh, things regarding tech. He's helped out with the tech fest, he helps me out with um, assemblies, presenting them, being on the mezzanine um, with the guys and supporting the technical side of things. He's just such a, a wonderful student who has done such a phenomenal job since he's been here. Um, can't congratulate him enough. Fantastic work. Thank you very much and please keep going. Hello Teo, Mrs Slater here, your media teacher. I just wanted to drop you a quick message to say congratulations on winning such an amazing award. I could not think of anyone more deserving. You have helped the entire school, both in terms of staff and student body, to get better at using new technologies and media through your informative videos and your willingness to help anyone who wants to learn something new when it comes to media and technology. Um, I'm really keen and enthusiastic to see what you're going to move into in terms of the industry or profession that you choose to pick. Um, but whatever it is, I know that it's going to involve media and new technologies and that you are going to be amazing doing it. So again, congratulations, so well deserved. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what you do in the future. I'm absolutely delighted that Teo Smith in Year 11 has been awarded the outstanding contribution uh, and commitment to Wilden EdTech. Again, for a second or is it third or even fourth year running, Teo it's been a delight to work with you. Not only have you done some amazing work through all your studies and your learning, but you've supported me and all the teachers here in using Chromebooks really effectively when we've been back in school, and especially a huge shout out for all your help and effort with your Google Tutorials channel, because you've helped us here, students here, and also students that we've supported in other schools across the country in the EdTech Demonstrator Programme. It's a real privilege to work with you. Thank you for your commitment, your support. May it never end. Wow, what an amazing wealth of talent we have seen across the schools of Free Grounds Junior, Shamblehurst, St James Primaries, Borley Park and Wilden. Can I say a massive congratulations? Your talent, your creativity, I find so inspirational. It's been an honour to be involved yet again in this ceremony and see your work. 
thank you to everybody involved. Thank you to our judges, to all the teachers for their nominations. It's been amazing and I cannot wait to do it all over again next year. Well done, take care and have another watch again. Share this with your families and friends. Ping the link on YouTube to other people. Enjoy the great talent of our youngsters in the Hedge End and wider area. Well done, bye for now.